What's going on guys, Austin Nerd Joe here and today we've got some more Marvel Legends to review for you and this time we have the Walgreens exclusive set so this is a set of all Walgreens exclusive figures that we finally have gotten all together and completed the set and as you can see here we've got the Fantastic Four and then we also have some additionals we'll see here in a second of the Walgreens exclusive so first off here we have a Mr. Fantastic and the Invisible Woman of course the two classic leaders I guess you could say of the Fantastic Four so of course obviously we'll be opening and looking at these and as you see they come with accessories and stuff no build of figures for this set so we don't have anything cool to build at the end which would be cool for like a galactus or something though they've done that in the past but it'd still be pretty cool to have that but we've got uh, Mr. Fantastic and uh, I keep on color Sue Storm but Invisible Woman and again it's so funny just seeing these boxes you probably can't see through the camera and stuff but they're all dusty and everything because we've had these for so long especially because I think she's the oldest uh, Invisible Woman so it's just funny to see how old they are and stuff but we've got those two then we've got the Human Torch and the Thing which of course the Thing is the most recent released character out of the set which um, was the last one that we were waiting on and a holdout and stuff and it's pretty cool in the box and of course it's super heavy and everything so it'll be cool to see that figure out of the box and everything so we've got those last two characters of the fantastic four and the other two characters we have for this set is the silver server which does fit in with fantastic four and everything um it you know fits in perfectly with them so that's cool we've got that and then of course medusa from the inhumans which would be cool to have her with the rest of the inhuman characters like i know we've got a black bolt and i think maybe some others in a set in the past but she's a walgreens exclusive and so she'll just be thrown in there with the rest of this set too again all walgreen exclusive characters but it's super cool to finally have completed the fantastic four and have silver surf to go along with it and then we also have medusa as well so we're going to go ahead and get into all of these figures here of course get into each one of them and uh finish our collection i guess of the fantastic four characters so let's go ahead and get into it so our first character up here is Mr. Fantastic, of course the leader of the Fantastic Four, Reed Richards, or Dr. Reed Richards, I guess you could call him, is of course Mr. Fantastic here, the man with the elastic arms, I was going to say arms, but I guess ability in general and stuff. So of course this is, as I mentioned, Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards, whatever you want to call him here, and the classic Fantastic, or a classic Fantastic Four looking suit here. So let's go ahead and pull him close and look at his face sculpt here. So there's a look of Reed Richards there, and to me it looks a lot like George Clooney. Looks like that's what they modeled this face after. Um, but here we've got his um, bl uh, brown here, I almost said blonde, brown here. Here you know that's longer style, sweep to the back, and then it's got of course the classic gray sides um, here because I assume that was formed on him because of the whole uh, thing that went through them I can't can't remember what's called and stuff but that happened to them to give them their powers and everything like caused his white streaks in his hair but that's like a classic look of Mr. Fantastic having the white streaks on the side of his head there so that looks really cool and again to me looks like George Clooney um, but then we go down into his body and it does like I said have a classic design Fantastic Four it's weird having weird like focusing issues or something but we've got the blue and the black outfit here so you can see the black around the neck and the arms and the boots there and then the blue outfit which um is like a weird color i don't know if you it shows this way up in the camera but um in real life it's got like a green tint to it it almost looks like a really old action figure which again this is old for us but they all kind of um uh, have the same color and stuff so it's um, fits and everything but it just looks where it's got like a like I said a blue tint then of course we got the four there right on in the center of his chest and everything for the Fantastic Four obviously it's their logo and everything and other than that there's not much more to this character to look at we will look at his joints so we've got the normal head joints so you can't twist his head side to side and go up and down to nod and everything there then we go to his shoulders and he's got a classic ball joint here or shoulder joint I guess you could say that can spin around as you can see there and uh, does have a um, bending or butterfly I guess bend to it there then we got the upper shoulder or upper shoulder or bicep I guess that can twist around and everything again for more posability we've got the double elbow joint there so you can flex it a little bit more and then the wrist joint that can allow it to twist and um, bend back and forth I believe it, yeah I say it's just kind of stuck but it can bend back and forth as well which is cool there then go down we got the ab crunch so we got the crunch and the abs there so as you can see kind of maybe here the clicking of the crunch and everything then we've got the twist at the waist there so you can twist it back and forth then we got the hip joints here with the um, normal joints that can kick out and back a little and then out to the side and everything just kind of twist all around then we got the upper thigh twist there the double knee joint as you can see there and then the foot 
that can flex back and forth and then does have some twisting to the side abilities there to get him to stand up and everything. So that's the you know same joints all over. And again, not much to Mr. Fantastic, you know, just all in the same outfit and everything. Nothing too special. I can't get him to stand back up. Stand up, Mr. Fantastic. There we go. So then for accessories, he does come with two stretchy bendy arms. You can obviously replace his arms with these and then they can, you know, twist and bend and do whatever. And as you see, they have the like hole joints there that help and allow it to bend. So you can, I guess, bend and do whatever you want to do with the Mr. Fantastic bendy arms and you can pose them however you want in all sorts of cool ways, I guess. It's kind of hard to get them to really bend or shape to anything. You just kind of do round things like that and stuff, but it'll be real fun and cool to put this on to um, see what it looks like and everything. And then, oh, he obviously comes with both arms, so you can have you know two arms to do it with and do whatever you want with that. And then he also comes with what I assume to be a communicator of some sort. I don't know a whole lot of in-depth details about the Fantastic Four, but I assume this is like a communicator or something along those lines, some sort of scientific thing that Mr. Fantastic uses, but that just comes along with the box as well. Just from the box, it does say, a master inventor and impressive shapeshifter, Reed Richards uses intelligence and flexibility to protect the universe as Mr. Fantastic. So there we go, uses his flexibility. So that's going to be it for Mr. Fantastic. Next up is the Invisible Woman, Sue Storm here, and so again, another member of the Fantastic Four, married to Reed Richards and his sidekick and partner, and again, I'd say like the second leader of the Fantastic Four. And so this is the Invisible Woman, so she does have the powers to turn invisible, and so as you can see there with her arm, that's kind of what she's doing. So we're going to start with her face here, so there's the face sculpt there, it looks, you know, like a lovely pretty lady, and then she's got this long blonde hair, you know, it's parted down the side here and then swept over, and it's just a nice hair design there with the hair going back behind the ears and everything then going down into the suit so she obviously has a female body here so she does look a little bit different than um mr fantastic but she's in the classic again fantastic four outfit of the blue with the black um outfit you know designs onto it and stuff so she's got the black neck gloves belt and boots again as well and then the rest all blue we've got the fantastic four logo there on her chest as they um all have and stuff and then we go into her arms that have the invisible powers here so you can see we've got her hand it's supposed to be you know matching so it's like we've got the glove so it's a black hand down there to her um, forearm there to be the glove and then you can see it's see-through and pretty much clear and then it's the blue all the way which it's you know coming up to her shoulder where it's starting you know to like spread through her the invisibility um, but it's just the weird the way it is and the clear and stuff it's got like a yellow tint to it again makes it look like it's a really old figure it's been like sitting in the sun and stuff but um, you know it's not so it's just the way the colors are I guess the fading of the blue and stuff that they did to this to make it look like she's going invisible it'd be cool if like half of her body was invisible or you know the whole body was just like this where you could see you know that the the like black and the blue and stuff but it was see-through and clear that would have been cool as well well um for female so she has the of course the head joints so twisting and it does have some movement but the hair is kind of in the way so you can't really make her nod too much then we've got the shoulder joint here again that's similar to the miss fantastic just a small or skinnier arm for the female and stuff but it can bend and then twist around then we got the single elbow joint which of course has this um elbow here so it can't bend too far um, in a certain way and stuff and it just has limited range of mobility then the hand we can obviously twist around and then flex as well too so we got that on both sides then right under her chest of course has their flex thing you can't really do crunches like that it just moves a little but it does twist side to side no hip twist though or um, waist twist so that's the only twisting you get from the females there then we got of course the classic hip joints there the thigh twist double knee and then the foot again her feet though have some weird twists and there is some issue with this leg here her left leg it's got bent again of course probably in the box and the knee joint is really really weak so it like bends and flexes as easily as you can see there like how much it's flexing back and forth and then her feet like don't turn inwards anymore so it's hard to get her to stand up and like position because of the way her leg is and so it's just kind of messed up and I've been having some issues with it but I do eventually get her to stand up which I need to now. 
So there we go, got her standing. Um, so for accessories, she does also come with another hand turning invisible. So you can put this in her left hand instead. So you can have like both of her arms are starting to go invisible. And so you can see it's you know invisible in the fingers and then darker at the top. So it's spreading throughout her hand, the invisibility. And then she also comes with Herbie, this little robot, which I, I don't know much of anything about. I've just heard of him before. I know it's been like a thing added in the past years I don't know how many years say 10 years at most maybe could be longer and I just don't know about it but I've heard of it and seen it before in different forms it's just a little white robot usually and it just works along with the Fantastic Four and usually is paired up with um, the Invisible Woman and stuff for some reason but it comes along with her and from her box says with Herbie by her side Sue Storm uses her psionic energy to suit up as the incredible hero Invisible Woman so there you can see she is an incredible hero at least I think along with Herbie here so that's me at four invisible woman and next up for the Fantastic Four is the Human Torch Johnny Storm here. So as you can see, this figure looks really cool just because he's all like the red and orange color and all fired out and stuff. He's not the part where it's you know, still pos like in his human form and then a little bit of fire on like they sometimes do with figures. He is in full fire Human Torch mode. Um, so this looks really cool. So we're starting off with his head here. So as you can see, he does have a face there. You can't really see much of it, but he's got, of course, all the facial features. He's got yellow eyes there, red eyebrows and his yellowish orange it's like hard to tell in the camera it looks red it's like a really dark orange and has yellow tints to it in place and stuff but it's really weird the head is definitely like an orange with yellow hair i guess you could call that is his hair sticking up on the top there um then on his back here up he's got this um flames that are coming off of his back you can't take them off they just kind of clip around his shoulders and have a little tiny circle right there that clips goes into the circle that the figures usually always have on their back just so it just kind of clips on there but it's also got some extra flames coming off then we go into you know his suit would be in here so you do see the fantastic four logo and i like how it's changed to the red and the yellow colors there to match with his you know body and stuff but then go down into his hands he does have flames coming off of his hand so on this side he's got a fist with some yellow flames coming off and then his forearms here with some more yellow flames then on this side again more of the yellow flames on the forearm and then he's got an open hand with flames coming off of it there which again i like the way it looks he's got a red dark red belt on this version and then going down to his boots um they're just orange and stuff again with yellow flames coming off of them which again i really like the way this figure looks this is definitely the cool looking figure out of this set um so not much to him again he's got the same flexibilities as mr fantastic um so nothing new or different going on there so we got the ab crunches and everything and the twist and everything like i said is just all the same nothing new or different for um human torch here so i'll sit him there now obviously if you don't know by his powers he just turns in the fire and can control fire and shoot fire and all that sort of stuff for accessories, he does come with two fists. You can't switch his hands out for a plain fist with no flames coming off them. So you can switch those out, as you can see there. Just two plain old yellow or orangish fish there. And then they also come with these fireballs that you can then stick on those fists. And so you can make it so he's like, you know, shooting the fire off and stuff. So they're two like fireballs that you stick on his hands as well for accessories that come with him and then from the box says flame on johnny storm suits up and commands the the heat as the scorching hot hero the human torch and of course i really think it's cool because the human torch is a super old comic book character from like the 40s or something all the way back to captain america namor with the two human torches and stuff which is really cool that they carried him on and put him into to the fantastic four and everything and made him part of you know like sue storm's brother and all that i think that's really cool so that's going to be it for the human torch Next up is the thing. Of course, this is a super cool figure and it is super heavy. It's so like, you know, a thick, heavy character and then he's super heavy because of the design and everything of him. But this is super cool. And again, the last Fantastic Four character they released at Walgreens and we were finally able to find it to be able to now do this video. So this is pretty cool. So as you can see, he's in a just a giant rock monster guy. He gets turned into a giant rock monster and that's really wise powers. And of course, has super strength and ability and stuff related to power and having been covered in rocks so he is you know has um not able to really be shot and stuff because the bullets can't go through rock but this looks really cool and it's su like i said super heavy and cool so we're looking at his face here again he's kind of too big to fit in the camera so especially if i said back here he doesn't even fit in so we're looking at his face there so here he's got an evil grimace of course uh ben grim which is also the thing's real name um is known to be like a real angry person and stuff especially getting turned into this 
giant rock monster. But he's got a real angry look on his face, and I like this giant, like, thick rock eyebrow that goes over his head and stuff. But you can see his eyes in there again looking mean angry, a little tiny fat nose. And then his teeth are shown there being all angry and stuff, but he's got no hair or anything. And then he's just rock all the way down, so he's got a fist in this hand, you know, a big giant fist. Look at how giant those fingers are. And then open hand on this side. He's only got four fingers, so he lost a finger apparently when turning into a rock monster. And so there he's got an open hand. Then going down, he's got the blue Fantastic Four pants on. It'd be funny if they had a Fantastic Four on him. Maybe a belt buckle would have been cool for him or something with the four, but it doesn't have it. Then we go down to his toes. Again, he's got four toes, so he lost a toe somewhere along the line, too. And so he's got these big, giant feet, too. They're so funny looking. They're big old, giant feet. They'll just stomp out the camera. So let's take a look at him. So he does have some head movement here. It can move, you know, side to side and up and down. Shoulder movements. He does have the classic shoulder joints. Um, he doesn't have the twist at the uh, bicep, though, but he does have a um, elbow joint here. It's more like the female, but like a giant version. So it's got this little notch there on the back so you can't bend too far. And then it's got, you know, a big, thick um, joint there. And then the hand can twist around. And then a little bit. It's got a few limitations by the design that it is, you know, how it comes down lower here. And then it can flex a little bit there. Then he does have the ab crunch, even though he doesn't really crunch. So he is mostly designed like a female character, just in large form. So he can't crunch or anything, barely. It's just like plastic flexibility but he does twist side to side and he does have the hip twist though too or the twist at the waist there so you can twist him there as well so that is pretty cool that they have that for more posability and flexibility and stuff then he does have the hip joints there again no twist at the upper thigh or anything just the hip there the double knee joint which they did add so you can see there's this um uh kneecap and then of course the flexing of his legs there as you can see it's kind of thick and hard um then we go to his feet which does have flexibility so he can you know bend back and forth and then twist side to side i love these giant feet they're so funny looking and so that is really cool for the thing and i love this figure this is probably my favorite figure out of the set for accessories he does come with an extra head so this time he's not doing He's got more of a sad looking face so you can see his mouth there. It's all like bent down like he's all sad. So he doesn't have the teeth showing and angry looking there. And then we got extra hands to switch out to make them the same. So you can do either two fists or two open hands, whichever you'd prefer to do and stuff. But of course I like the fist more out of all of it. And so let's read the box real quick. It says an impressive bowler like exterior grants the thing exceptional strength and durability even in the rockiest of battles. Oh, using puns there with rockies. So that's gonna be it for the thing. And our next character here is the Silver Surfer, also known as Norn Rad, as his real name is. And of course, we'll see from the box, like, it'll name his planet stuff of where he's from. But he's known to being a um, herald of Galactus, and so that's how he comes to Earth and stuff, and warning that Galactus is coming for Earth and stuff, and comes across the Fantastic Four and all that. Similar to what he did in the movies, but it's kind of similar to the comic books as well. But the Silver Surfer has always been one of my favorite characters since getting into super, like, really getting into superheroes and stuff. I had a figure of him as I was younger and it was always my favorite out of the set and stuff so I always have a connection to Silver Surfer here that I really like but let's take a look at him so there's not much to him we'll see body wise because he's just an all silver character so there's nothing special no sp suits no extra things going on with him he's just an all silver character and I love the paint there's not really many paint issues with this um, just very little like something there some stuff on the back of his arms and everything but otherwise it's just a nice solid metallic silver color um, but here we'll look at his face you can see there's face there he's got like the white eyes there with the black surrounding him and the lips that are like I guess have some painted black looks like lipstick but they're just to make the lips more pronounced and stuff and then the rest of his body going down again it's just all silver so nothing special look at here we will look at his joints though so he does have the newer butterfly joint here so his arms can you know flat back and forth like that and then he does have the um shoulder joint which has some limitations it seems like in movements but it can move up and down and then um does have twisting ability in it too so they just added some extra movements in there with that butterfly joint oh we lost a hand and then we've got of course the um, bicep twist there as you can see double elbow joint and the hand that can twist around and then flex as well side to side then we got the ab crunch the waist the hips the by uh, thigh double knee and um, this time we have the shin joint on that one and then the foot flexibility and bending and stuff there for that again a nice character a lot of po nice posability and stuff uh, able to move him in a lot of ways not too stiff of joints here and has a lot of um, nice flexibility on this silver surfer figure 
which looks really cool. So for accessories, he does come with two hands. Um, we'll start with these others first. He comes with a lot of hands, I should say. So the first two, we got extra hands again to make a match. So you got a right hand here that you can do it. So have two open hands, or you can switch it with a left hand to give him two fists if you want that instead. But then he also does come with two flat hands for um, what I assume would be for when he's surfing and stuff. You know, just I call them like the flash hands. So if, you know, put your hands like this when you run and stuff. And so that's what he has for, I guess, when he's on the surfboard and stuff. You can switch them for the flat hands as well. He comes with these um, little things you can stick on his hand as, like, his power stuff of the cosmic um, energy or power, cosmic power, whatever you want to call it, that he has um, as some of his abilities. You can stick those on his hand as well for, you know, these weird abilities. I don't think these look good, and they use them for a lot of characters, just paint them different colors and stuff, but and they just sit on characters' hands, but I don't think they look too good. And then, of course, for Silver Surfer, you would not be complete without the surfboard. So we do have, the, of course, the Silver Surfboard the fit here, and it is really long, it, you know, just about as long as he is. But he's got a foothold on here, if I can get it on. There we go. So now he is on the surfboard, and we've got a surfing silver man, as I, you could call it. But we got Silver Surfer here, and so there we go. Flying Silver Surfer, woo! There we go. And so there's Silver Surfer, and let's read what his box says. A metallic skin humanoid from the planet Zin La. The Silver Surfer gets his name from his shimmering appearance and iconic hovering surfboard, so Silver Surfer. So that's going to be it for the Silver Surfer character. And our last character out of this set is Medusa from the Inhumans. And so, first off, this character I don't think is designed very well just by looking at it and stuff. I don't like her design overall, and some of her body parts have some issues and stuff. But let's go and look at her. So, she is a member of the Inhumans, and she is the Queen of Adelan, which is the Inhumans planet, or I want to say planet, but like home on the, I think, dark side of the moon or some part of the moon. They live on the moon, that's all I know, because they got like ran off from Earth or something, I believe. And so, she is um, the Queen of Adelan. Uh, Again, I can't remember what's called it. Atlantian, Atlantan. Um, I can't remember. Atalan, maybe. I can't remember how it's pronounced. But here, again, she is the Queen Mary to Black Bolt, the King of Atalan. And then her powers and stuff have to do with her long hair. So she's like uh, Medusa and stuff from the Greek mythology with the like snake hair and stuff. But she has power to control her hair and use it to fight with and everything. So we'll take a look at her. So here's, of course, her face again. This is just a different look and take on the character of Medusa. So there's a look at her face. I like the purple and everything on her and the metallic purple there on her face like a mask and then she's got this band of hair which i assume is just supposed to be her normal hair but it looks like a headband but so i don't like that much and her head is very loose but it's probably just because of all this hair and then you can see the hair so it starts from there and just comes all the way down and it goes completely down the length of the character and then sweeps around back here which when she stands does help her stand up and her feet are messed up so she really needs the help and so she just kind of leans back onto her hair and stuff and of course it's pulling her back because of how heavy it is but from there we go into her suit and you can see the metallic purple carrying all down and then you can see it's on her gloves, her belt, which of course is all twisted up and around and everything, and into her boots and then she's got a flat purple color for the rest of her suit here. All in between, as you can see, all the way down to the legs and everything. Um, so it's really cool on the belt here. It does have the little logo there. I don't know if that's the Inhumans logo or, or if it's just an, you know, it looks like an M. So for Medusa and stuff is what it could be. But it's just a nice um, belt. But of course it is loose, so it just kind of flaps, flops around on the character. And I wish they would just glue it down or strip, um, somehow just secure it down so it doesn't move around and everything. Um, but then the issue I was mentioning is down here with her leg. As you can see, her leg is bent. So it needs to be twisted out more, but um, she at least her foot does move, so you can get it to bend and flex or whatever to be able to help her to stand. But just the way there's package in the box and stuff, you know, it's making her stand all weird and everything. So it's um, kind of a pain to get her to stand, but that's why I said thankfully her hair is back there to help her keep her up and everything. And so as I mentioned, part of her powers is the control of her hair, so again she can use it like to whip and it like shoots out, attacks people, and she can do all sorts of cool stuff with her hair. That's really awesome. But from the box, oh, and she doesn't come with any accessories. It's just her, no extra hands or anything else that goes with it. Just Medusa in the box by itself. But from the box says, born into the Inhumans royalty, Medusa is a formidable leader who care. Three, two, one. But from the box says, born into humans, 
three, two, one. From the box says, born into Inhumans royalty, Medusa is a formidable leader who uses control of her steel-like hair to command power. So there, he mentions her hair and everything there as well. And that's going to be it for Medusa. So that's going to be it for this set of Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends set that include the Fantastic Four, where we got Mr. Fantastic, Invisible Woman, Human Torch, and The Thing. And then, of course, we also threw in there the Silver Surfer, which, of course, fits in with the Fantastic Four and everything. And then Medusa from the Inhumans. So that's going to be it for this set of Marvel Legends. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to see more of our videos. And we will see you next time.